Hey guys, it is Kia and I'm doing another video. This time I am doing the tag video started by Charlene of the Savvy Specialist. Hey Charlene. This has been a long time coming because I was like, oh yes, <laughs> I can do that tag. So easy. And then I was like, mm, it's a little bit harder than I thought. So this fragrance tag is fragrance names that don't match the juice. So I was looking and I was looking, a lot of times I'll look into a fragrance just to see what it's about, see what the perfumer's ideas were. So then a lot of times it just kind of makes sense, right? But um, there were a few that I was able to come up with. So let's talk about them. The first one I have is Zara's Rich Warm Addictive. So the name does match the juice, but it's in the tobacco collection. And so when I got this, I was like, where is the tobacco? Like this to me is more sandalwood and coconut. It does have a little spice in it. And so I guess that's the tobacco hanging back there. But for me, this just was not a fragrance I look to for tobacco. Um, it's just playing a little background note the next fragrance that i knew for sure would start this video and of course charlene talked about it too but it is c passione by armani um when i when this actually launched i was like oh i'm not sure if i'm ready for a spicy perfume oh no so i never gave it a thought but then um along this perfume journey i actually received some minis and um i tried this on like all right let's just see what it's working with i don't know so i put it on my hand and walked around and i was like i'm getting fruits i'm getting fun stuff nothing spicy nothing too out of my range i was so shocked this red bottle is called passion i'm like what's passionate about it it's fresh it's fun and this as many of you might know is my quintessential shampoo fragrance i absolutely love this um it's a summer staple so hey c passione the name does not match the juice the next fragrance is a mac fragrance and this is candy yum yum so okay granted candy yum yum has a note of cotton candy in it but for me i expected this to be mainly sweet to be mainly sugary uh, with the name candy yum yum it just seems like it's going to be the front runner for a gourmand or sweet fragrance this has some sweetness in it but it also has violets i always get the purple flower mixed up but it's one of them and this fragrance that purple flower definitely gives it a freshness like laundry. So you have, it's not going to be syrupy sweet, but it is going to be a fluffy sweet with that purple flower, giving it some freshness. And again, like I said, this kind of laundry touch, it's really nice. Um, but with a name like Candy Yum Yum, I was expecting syrupy sweet. The next fragrance is by one of my favorite houses, the House of Moogler. And this is Alien Fusion. So I think I knew of the fragrance before thinking about what the name meant to the juice. Um, because this red talisman bottle was just everything. And I was like, I have to have it. I have to have it. So, um, this particular fragrance is called Alien Fusion. And I was like, a fusion of what? Like, I don't get it. But, you know, Mugler will give you the inspiration. And so, it turns out that it's actually a fusion of sensual flowers and spicy notes. So, there's ginger and cinnamon in this. And then there's, um, there's tuberose and jasmine. And then I think it has like vanilla in the base. So, and there's other notes, I'll put them up. But that is Alien Fusion. And forgive me, I am using my 
um, like the selfie camera. And so I'm like, where am I supposed to look? I don't know. <laughs> but I think I'm supposed to look over here. Um, so that's Alien Fusion. Like this one is more um, new to my collection. And it is... A drop the Issy by Issy Miyaki. Who else got this fragrance because of Ronda Lurie's? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love her. But yes, I found this on one of the discounter sites. Um, I was too impatient to wait for TJ Maxx with my shoes. And so I went ahead and grabbed it. Um, hey, Melissa. <laughs> um, I actually kind of like this one. I saw that Melissa... Uh, Melissa Villanueva. She actually got this fragrance, but she's not quite a fan. Um, but this one is almond milk. There's a purple flower. Y'all, I'm gonna get these purple flowers, okay? I'm still still working on them. Um, whether it's violet or iris, I'll let you know with some notes. But this has almond milk in it. It has um, I do know when the base it has ambroxan and cedar. Yeah, this gives me slight almond milk. It gives me some violet or lavender, and it's all over one of those um, molecule notes, like ambroxan. So it's ambroxan and they're cedar. And with those notes, they're giving me laundry. <laughs> I got all of that stuff laundry, y'all. But um, it's soft, it's pretty, but then those um, that ambroxan and cedar in the base kind of punches it a little bit and gives it lots of staying power and longevity and keeps it nice and bright. So it's not just going to mellow down into a soft scent. This thing keeps kicking. Um, and definitely on paper and on my skin, I still, I still feel like I got some good longevity out of this. But um, there's some milk, there's some almond milk in this, but it's not like almond sitting alongside the violet. But I'm enjoying this so far, and um, yeah, I'm not quite sure why it's called a drop. <laughs> a drop of what? Is Sumiyaki? Like, I, I really don't know. Um, but it made for a cute concept with this little circle bottle. It doesn't stand, but um, it has this rubberized nozzle and it's cute but that is it thank you so much Charlene for tagging me you guys I'm gonna leave her channel and the link to her video in the description box so please be sure to check her out you may have already since she did this like forever ago but come in some slack guys like I love these tags I'm getting to them I'm getting through them and I will see you next video bye